Hello, my name is Christian Wolter from TradeVola and like every week we want to present you some details about the last trading week and if you would like to get notifications for this please subscribe here to our channel so that you will not miss any of the videos uh, in the next weeks and like in the last few weeks I think we discussed a few um, companies or a few symbols um, like Tesla if you remember Tesla we spoke about a breakout about this last um, high. Um, we can show here $500 was um, the all time high. And here, I think this was last week, where we discussed a potential breakout. And if you see, the price now is um, almost $600. Uh, um, so, in a sh very short time, the breakout um, uh, was done. And um, Tesla is uh, really an interesting um, company from, from the um, technical uh, analysis side, from the chart as well. Options volume is also quite high and we have other examples uh, from this industry um, or this section like uh, NIO, the electric um, car producer from China. And here it's the same, it's a massive uh, breakout since October. The um, stock itself is more than double the price from the beginning of uh, October and uh, for two months it's really a great performance. Um, but another symbol, another company we discussed last week was General Electric, was also a few um, positions or trades what we discussed in our trading blog, what you find on our website or in our um, weekly live sessions and uh, newsletter. So you can see General Electric um, after the breakout above eight. Um, I think the next target will be eleven dollar. Now it's um, at ten dollar and forty cents. So almost twenty five cents um, since yeah, I would say um, the first few days of November. And before we come to the latest um, symbols, latest companies from the actual week, um, the last symbol what we discussed also last week was uh, FTAI with also good breakout comparing to Tesla and General Electric it's not so um, great performance but still um, with this market environment at the moment I think it's pretty nice to see how this stock moved above the $18 and now it's $21 it's also the 25 um, weeks high at the moment and I think there's a still a great potential. Here we saw the last um, high volume on the call and put side. But these are all symbols and companies what we presented you in the last week. Now I want to show you some more information what happened this week. This week was a quite short week from the trading hours in the US because first day was um, Thanksgiving. Friday we only had a very short trading day with three and a half hours where the volume is normally very low. We will not find uh, many traders here. And uh, the symbol I want to present you is um, a symbol from Brazil um, um, uh, related to commodities. I think here it's um, not oil related, but it's a very interesting breakout. We had like the whole week. Um, the stock went up from $13 almost to 15 and we have a great um, option well, uh, volume at the moment with some bets what we see here um, that this um, stock will be above $15 till January so there's still some space even if you just want to trade the equity as such I think there's a good good potential um, of like 10-20% uh, performance for the next week um, and as I said, there's um, really high volume in most of um, yeah, oil gas um, stocks as well as um, some of these um, um, commodity stocks. And uh, I can also go a little bit deeper into this section as well that uh, what I showed you last uh, time with Finvis, uh, you will find all this information. So it's metals and mining where this um, um, symbol or this company uh, um, is based and uh, basic materials uh, from Brazil. So as I told you the last time, you will find all this information. I think very good compromised or like a very good uh, overview on finvis.com. Um, this was the first. The second what we had this week and what is a little bit different to 
um, this Brazilian stock, this Brazilian company, because here we already saw the breakout. At the end, the breakout already started last week. Uh, we can see it here, $12. We had like a triple high, first in August, then in September, and here in November, the breakout happened. And then this is what we really um, want to see if we are trading breakouts. The breakout happened, and since the breakout was here, about 12.20, um, the stock was um, gaining another $2.50, what is for a stock in this uh, price region quite significant and uh, quite good performance here. And the next stock which I want to present, everyone knows this um, company, it's AMD, Advanced Micro Devices Incorporation. Here uh, we have the same situation what we saw in uh, the stock before, this Brazilian um, company, but before the breakout. We had here one um, yearly high, I think it's also the all-time high for AMD, what happened at the beginning of September um, with $95. And now these stocks step-by-step step uh, comes back to the um, um, yeah, all-time high. And I think the next important step is to break out above the $90 um, range. And we saw a few bets this week that the next target for January might be $100. And we, we saw it already. If there's a breakout, if the market environment is uh, positive, uh, then stocks they can easily, stocks like AMD, for example, they can easily um, yeah, get like 10, uh, 20 performance at uh, 20% um, in one or two weeks, um, especially um, if the market environment um, is in a um, is positive. Uh, if there's a big um, movement, um, a down movement in the, the whole market, then it's of course hard for every stock um, to get a breakout um, above like yearly or um, all-time highs. But um, AMD, good recommendation what you can add to your watch list. Of course, uh, you can always try to trade something before um, stock will break out. But I think most of you might um, have an alert when there's really a breakout happening. This is what we saw earlier here in this uh, Brazilian stock. So AMD was the second one and I think um, it's also interesting to see some symbols what are not performing um, so well, um, especially in this market environment as we are after the election where everything went up again to a new um, yeah, all-time highs, mainly in the S&P 500. And here we have uh, ZNGA, um, also to give you an information about where this is located and uh, which industry. It's electronic gaming and multimedia, what's normally uh, not performing um, so bad, but we can see that from the chart there's um, a great support at the moment at uh, $8.70 or $7.90 I would say here the support line and we saw a few big put options, uh, put volume came through. So if this um, will um, go below the $7.90, I think there's enough space that this stock can easily go to $7 to um, even lower prices what we had before, especially if the market is um, turning and we will see a down move in the market. It's interesting to have also a watch list for potential short trades. If you want to invest um, in short selling, um, this uh, might be always um, um, very interesting for you to have a list of stocks um, in case the market turns, in case the market goes down, that you have some symbols where you want to invest short. Of course, you can do this in all market environments because if there are bad news and um, the stock itself is not performing very well, you will also see down movements, even the whole market goes up. And that's what we saw here after the earnings. So I think um, yeah, there's a good potential for another down movement in ZNGA. And the last stock what I want to present here because this industry was, I think the last two weeks performing quite good. And there are a lot of uh, examples we can go, for example, to Exxon Mobil and all other big oil companies. But I chose here um, RIG, it's Transocean um, Limited from Switzerland, where we had great performance from $1 to almost $2.50 um, at top. And I saw quite big bets this week that this um, stock will go back to $4, $5. And I think 
for a stock like this um, you don't need really options uh, because you can buy this with a small amount um, also bigger positions of uh, 1000 um, shares will only cost you like two thousand dollar and of course there's a high risk you can lose not everything in the stock position of course it's possible but as we saw it was um, below one dollar um, before but on the other hand side it's also moving quite significant and quite fast um, to like 50 60 70 per percent performance and if you're a um, option trader these stocks are also interesting for uh, collecting premium like short selling of uh, puts um, covered calls if you have this um, um, stock in your portfolio we have an implied volatility of 200 percent so just for an example um, for this um, stock I get for a short term put option of one week almost 10 percent um, as a revenue from um, selling puts at the market and this is um, momentan mom uh, at the moment quite good so uh, there are a lot of um, information so a lot of stocks um, like this and especially oil and gas was performing quite well we can see this if we check Exxon Mobil or BP it's not so um, high in percentage of course um, how they went back to uh, um, old levels but we see in um, every of the stocks there's um, it's a changing of the trend because the lowest price we had in the beginning um, at the end of October beginning of November and um, also for BP we can see from $15 they moved to 22 what's also 50% in just one month so um, if we make a industry selection we will see this industry was performing quite well after um, yeah, the election was done and uh, we know who will be the next US president so um, this was some of the interesting um, symbols from this week if you want to see more of this you can um, also subscribe to our newsletter or um, live trading sessions every week otherwise I would be happy if you subscribe to our YouTube channel and I would like to welcome you to our next um, trading session. Thank you very much.